Well, this is the harsh reality of, uh, you know, the other side of my life. I'm doing a stoke take for a bar, going those way in the morning. Um, they've got over 700 products. F, M, L. Is there any video left? Yes. Yeah, still... <laughs> Are you filming? Are you yeah. Photo? Oh, right. Okay. Go you know, it. I really should have tried harder at school. You guys said How would you describe Plum Duff music? The music of the Duff, well, as you, as, as you probably don't know, being an American, Plum Duff is a, a traditional British pudding which you know, some people would say directly re relates to our music and its, its resonance, but I see it as, imagine a project, Rookie, where you have an infinite number of monkeys with an infinite number of guitars. You give them every pre-90s Iron Maiden album, every Beatles album, throw in a few Buzzcock singles, and eventually, one of these monkeys will compose the complete works of Plum Duff, and that monkey is Beefy, our lead singer. You going to tell us a little bit about um, your influences and who your heroes were, the rock gods of your year. Well, Brookie, that's a good question. Obviously, David Coverdale from Whitesnake. I mean, David and I, we go. We, we've had a lot of fun together over the years. We've, we've, um, we've crossed swords, shall we say. Richard Gere, uh, like me, he, he likes good wine. Um, little Zinfandel by the fireplace. Cut all that last crap out, of it, dude. That's shit. I'm, I just can't. I can't not th think about Sting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Help me out, dude. Who's who's like Sting or Richard Gere? Oh. Alanis Morissette. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alanis Morissette. Mm -hmm. Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's just roll it. Let's, 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 let's roll it. We, we, we can do this. Let's hear about your musical heroes. <sighs> well, Brookie. There's heroes everywhere.
first time I've ever said this to anyone, so I might as well say it on camera, but this should be out there. I'm actually wearing a wig, Groot. It's, I know, yes, I'm, of course you're shocked, of course you're shocked, but it's a wig, because it's just not fair. I don't have hair, I should have hair, because, you know, I'm in a midlife crisis rock band, but I don't, and it's not fair, so I wear a wig, so I fit in with the lads, and there you go, well, I'm getting emotional now. Okay, yeah, let's, um, let's move on, Rookie, let's move on. Where, where's that fucking scotch? Well, welcome. Brooks, lads from America, is my humble abode. Hope you like it. This is some relaxing mood music for you guys. Hope you relax. Uh, so yeah, welcome to my pad. I might just uh, casually stroll over here and pour myself a scotch. Do you guys like a scotch? What's your favourite scotch, Brooks? Oh, I, 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 you have to tell me, because I don't know anything. I, I'd embarrass myself with my lack of knowledge. I like a Glenn Michaels cavalcade. Oh, tell us about That'd it. That'd be hilarious to anyone Scottish, but brilliantly over your head. Oh yes, nutty. Well, I... Hi guys, while you're here, it, it, anyone want to buy a, a Plum Duff t-shirt? Merch? Well, these are going for about four to five thousand pounds these days on a Craigslist you've got, you've got in the States. Over somewhere in the States where you guys live, they actually have had a vampire outbreak in the 80s. Corey Feldman dealt with it with great a plume. I can't see past that as my inspiration. You know? I've also just noticed I'm standing with one leg up on this chair <laughs> by mistake. I hope, it, I hope it looks like I'm a kind of earl or baron. <laughs> if I, I'm okay with my scotch. <laughs> it's it's going to be my scepter for the evening. <laughs> well, wait, I don't have a bar. It's funny stirring this pot of paint because it's like I had a midlife stirring. It kind of reignited the Duff's fire to be banned from Duff. Not a midlife crisis, people call it a midlife crisis. And the weakening. Why? Why the why the why the wig? Why the spandex? Why the duff? Um, Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Sure? Yeah. Brooks, I'm gonna answer in one question. Satan. No, no, just full stop. Satan, full stop. Yeah, you know, he's... I think there's a little bit of him in all of us. You know, and sometimes you just gotta turn that knob on. Turn that knob up a little bit. Turn on your own inner Satan. Do you think the rest so, of them... For me, that makes, you know, for some people, they run out. And other people are, you know, do bad things or drop with them. yourself why I can't see the white for all this new white I just like that something in my brain. 